first on four tonight. A Sabadito man will spend the next 40 years in prison for his role in the death of a four month old boy. That's a sentence the jury decided on for Abraham Proenza today. Action for is Daisy Barrera live in the studio now with the latest Daisy. Joey Proenza kept his head down most of the time and was visibly distraught by the 40 year sentence when the judge announced the decision handed down by a Cameron County jury today. Proenza's mother burst into tears as the uh, sentencing was read. Proenza was found guilty Friday in the death of a four month old Aiden Javier Valdez. According to the autopsy results, the infant weighed only eight pounds at the time of his death back in 2008. The only thing found in his stomach was a jalapeno. The child's mother did not want anything to do with the child since birth, so Proenza and his wife were set to adopt him. But when the woman left to go work in Minnesota, the child was left under Proenza's watch a short time after he died of severe dehydration and malnutrition. Normally we have the judge sentence. Uh, this time, Mr. Proenza asked the jury sentence. And I respect that very much, both for Mr. Proenza and for Mr. Gonzalez, uh, because it lets me have insight about what you, the community, want from us judges. And so it gives me an opinion as to what you would have done, what you did in this case, and what I should do in similar cases. At one point, the jury did ask what would happen if they could not all agree on a sentence. When they were told that that would lead the judge to ruling a mistrial, the jury went back to deliberation and agreed on this sentence. Proenza's mother tells us justice was not served because her son is innocent. She says the baby had been sick and wasn't able to keep food down. She says they do plan to appeal. In the studio, Daisy Barrera, Action 4 News. All right, Daisy, thanks for that. And we're asking for your opinion tonight. What do you think about the 40-year prison sentence? for that suspect. Is it too high? Is it appropriate or too low? You can vote right now on our online poll on valleycentral.com. And on Facebook tonight, Sandra Torres Hallman tells us this is an injustice. He should have gotten life. Audrey Badillo says, Lord be with you and your family. This isn't right. I've met him and his entire family. There's obviously a reason for what happened. I know he wouldn't hurt any child because he's a father and has always looked out for the kids at the daycare. It just doesn't make sense. Let us know what you think. Go to facebook.com slash action for news.